Well, we have seen several healers in our country having a following, but 99-year-old Phyllis Crystal from Zurich has a following not just from across the globe, but also in our country. Celebrated healer and one of the noted ones in the world was in Nama City, and my colleague Nabila caught up with the lady who spoke about her method of healing your body, mind and soul. Listen in. With a kind of hectic lifestyle we all live, a concept like healing the mind, body and soul holds so much importance. And one healer among the best in the world, all the way from Zurich, 99-year-old Phyllis Crystal is right here in Bengaluru to speak to us. Phyllis, thank you for speaking with me tonight. Yes, so welcome. It's a real pleasure to be, to be here. It's my pleasure too. Phyllis, we live in such a materialistic world. In, in a world like this, how do people really perceive the concept of healing a mind, body and soul? Well, I think the more people get desperate, the more hectic life becomes, the more willing they are to find some help. And so that's, that's really the entree. Uh -huh. People have to be ready. And sometimes it means they have to be hurting or, or uh, very uncomfortable before they're willing to look further than in their everyday life. Phyllis, I've heard so much about your symbols that you use. Can you tell us more about the symbols? How does that help in protecting yourself from any sort of negative energy? Uh -huh. Well, I usually like to explain that we have three parts to our mind. Mm -hmm. The conscious mind that we use all day long, mm -hmm. the subconscious, which is like a, a memory bank, and it holds everything that's ever happened to us, mm -hmm. still as... as uh, as acute or still as clear as when it happened. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and then we have the superconscious, which we call the high C, mm -hmm. which is the part of us that never dies when the body dies. Mm -hmm. So, the symbols are designed to get messages in the language that they understand, which is a picture or a symbol. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Chinese always used to say, a symbol is worth a thousand words. And if you were, if you will think about it, all of the ancient languages were pictures. Mm -hmm. So this is a very well, a very good way to get to reprogram the subconscious part of the mind mm -hmm. and remove some of the traumatic, uh, the effects of some of the traumas that we've suffered in, in, in our childhood. Okay. For this, we are a land of belief. India really believes in just about everything we have so many gods we, we we're a land of belief at the end of it so yes. what do you think of india and the whole healing concept here in india have you taken inspiration from anybody here? i uh, <clears throat> i think uh, mostly i have been mo most affected perhaps uh, by sai baba mm -hmm. uh, he's been a, an amazing teacher for me mm -hmm. because i was one of the shyest people in the whole world mm -hmm. And nobody could have brought me out from that to be willing to talk to a lot of people, mm -hmm. except he persevered. He was so patient for so many years, and finally he succeeded. So I thank him from my heart, because it's such a relief not to be so shy anymore. Well, it is, it's really nice to know that. <laughs> Phyllis, tell me, you've, you've been doing this for for really long, you're 99 years, I wonder how long you've been practicing this. In all through the, these years, is there any such experience that you remember uh, or has changed a particular person's life to the point where it's affected you? Uh, many, many people uh, mm -hmm. tell me, uh, to my surprise, that the, the method has changed their lives and usually it makes them, it allows them rather, to be a lot more free to be who they really are and not to continue to play the old roles that were thrust upon them. Mm -hmm. Everybody expects uh, children to be the way they want them to be mm -hmm. without considering that they may have something to bring to the world. They may have something within them that, that, nobody, uh, n that nobody knows about. So to project onto them what we want them to be is a big problem. So we need to bring out what's inside of them. And that's what we are able to do with the work, to go back to the person that we really started out to be and be able to express the gifts and the, uh, and the experience uh, that, that um, can really help change the world. 
You, you tell me about help change the world. Phyllis, the world right now is going through a lot of stress. It's not yeah. just India or one particular country as oh, such. Yeah. Everybody, there's so much competition. There's yeah. so much stress. Would you, what advice, um, who better person to ask than you, would you give the people who are always stressing and fretting and worried? Yes, we have several uh, symbols that we use for, dis for worry and fear and anxiety. And the more we use the work, and the more we rely on what we call the high C, the higher consciousness, the part that I mentioned before, that doesn't die when we die, our life becomes much more simple. And, and, it, and we have an inner guide, and that inner guide knows exactly how we should handle things. But we have to remember to, make con to keep contact with it. And that's, the, I think that's the secret. One last question to you. What do you think of India? What do you think of Bangalore? And how does it feel being here? Well, I've been coming to India for so many years. Um, a lot before I even knew that uh, Sai Baba existed, my husband and I traveled a great deal mm -hmm. because he had an international law practice. And so I had been to India several times. I've always thoroughly enjoyed coming here. But since we knew about Sai Baba, we came very regularly. So I feel it's almost like my second country. Uh, I was born in England. I lived in the States. Then I moved to, to Germany and then to Switzerland. And so I don't really know where I belong. But at least I know that in India, I have a sort of a second home because of Sai Baba. <laughs> Thank you for speaking with us, Phyllis. And that was Phyllis Crystal talking to us about healing mind, body, soul, and how she tells us to listen to your inner guide. With camera person Suraj, this is Nabila of News 9.